I know when I was in school, uh, the, uh, the question was raised, you know, why did you decide to take engineering? You know, there's so many engineers out there, is, we don't have enough work for all of them. And my answer was, there's always room for one more at the top. So, so <laughs> well, when we started, we were still doing drawings on vellum with pencil. When you were working ink on vellum, and you'd rub your elbow over it, you know, the whole drawing would get smeared and gray and all worked over. And ink on mylar was a big step forward for us, but it took a lot more skill for the draftsman to be able to work with ink on mylar. One of my design engineers did page after page after page after page of hand calculation. We just hadn't yet gotten a computer program that would link all the calculations together that we worked with. And then probably early 80s, we started talking about using uh, computer-assisted drafting. Early steps on that were uh, Mo Wadsworth and Kirk Corliss and Chuck Ersman and I were on a committee to go and visit some other engineering firms that had some early use of, of CAD. There was a firm out in Indiana that we visited that had used CAD and we could see what they were doing, how they did it. It was a tough decision to make because the cost of the equipment at that time, probably still, was uh, tremendous, you know, and, and how do you absorb that cost into a project? It was, but uh, Janet took the bite and they, they went into it and, and spent the money. And I think we first started out with four workstations. And then the question was, which division are they going to go to? So transportation took two, the design section took one. The fourth station went with the hydraulics division. Bob Scare was a young engineer at the time. And he jumped right into this and he learned how to operate the machine and then he learned how to teach other people and it really helped us convert from manual drafting over to uh, CAD drafting. All of us that have passed through life this far realize that coming out of school, you are practically useless. Once you get out of school, you might as well be prepared to study and learn whatever you're into to adapt yourself to do the job that's in front of you. And I think that's probably the best advice you could give them.